Hey guys, welcome back to the Coffs Harbour Fisherman's Co-op. Um, today we're going to be playing with a little little special treat. We've got some delicious yellowfin tuna, uh, perfect condition. Um, we're actually not even going to cook this today. We're going to, well, we're going to cook it with uh, coconut and lime juice. Um, this is a little Tahitian dish, and I'm going to try my best not to butcher the name of it. It's poisson cru, uh, a la coconut. So it's basically a, it's almost like a ceviche, uh, but it has the coconut in there as well. And it's been a few years since I played with one of these as well, so this could be quite interesting. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna drain the milk out of this, uh, grate the inside and squeeze out the cream as well and go from there. Start with this little coconut here. You're gonna feel around the top there. One of these little notches is gonna be softer than the others. So on this one, it's just here. And what we're going to do is there, get a corkscrew and just pop it in there. Hopefully without putting a corkscrew through my hand. And open them up like that. And we're going to drain out that coconut milk or the water. And then we're going to strain that as well. So while that coconut's draining there, we're going to uh, prep our veg. So this is really, really simple. This is tomato, cucumber, carrot, uh, shallot, and a brown onion. So we're going to simply, with our cucumber, just run a knife down the middle, scoop out the seed. Like so. Don't need that. that up. This would be a great dish if you're ever stranded on an island. Tuna is usually pretty plentiful around Bomboras and islands and coconuts. Uh, if you don't have salt you could just use seawater. I saw a few recipes there earlier that um, actually season this dish with seawater so um, that's always an option as well. Uh, tomato, same thing, just going to remove the seed like so. You don't have to put these in as well. Um, and if you like other veggies, you know, knock yourself out. The main essence of this dish is the coconut and the fresh tuna. Um, so I'm just gonna dice that tomato up as well. Very similar to sort of the Hawaiian take on a poke bowl. So you could could use other fish for this, like you used to see sashimi grade fish, um, kingfish or snapper. Um, I would say salmon, but we've got plenty of other species out there that we can use before we go to a farm species. All those veg diced about the same size. Coconut should be just about ready. There we go. So, and with the carrot, just gonna grate that. About that much there. Just gonna slice a brown onion and some shallots and then we'll start playing with our coconut and tuna. Right, so we've got our veg cart, uh, comes to the great old time where we have fun playing with the coconut. So what we look for here is the seams and we have the eyes in the palm, back of a knife, meat cleaver preferably, but um, I don't have a meat cleaver here so we'll just give this a go and we just work our way around the seams. Give it a good whack. And we have our coconut, just like so. Now what we do is we get a butter knife. You're gonna end up with bits and pieces in here, but that's not to worry too much because we're gonna strain it out anyway, so. Um, and with your butter knife, just sort of work your way around the 
shell, like so. Fresh coconuts, it, the difference in flavour between fresh and canned is, it's the same with most things, you know. Um, it's got that really delicious, rich flavour. Um, and it's actually a uh, tenderizer as well, fresh coconut, so handy to know for the meat. Pop that out there, my knife's not liking it. You can actually get a tool to grate it straight out of the coconut, but I actually want to serve in this coconut, so um, this will help me get that nice clean surface to work off. Now we've got our coconut out, so we're going to just simply just peel that. No real magic tricks, just a vegetable peeler. And then we're just going to put that back over the, the grater, same as the carrot, into the bowl. And then squeeze that out as well. So there's not much washing up with this one. I mean, you're eating it out of the coconut. So we've got our inside of our coconut there, the meat. Um, just going to grate that now. Like I said, there's no real magic tricks here. This is a really simple dish. Um, and what this is going to do is going to allow us to um, squeeze that beautiful, gorgeous coconut cream out. And we'll have a beautiful dish. So we've got our grated coconut there. Sorry, it's delicious, I can't help myself. Um, just gonna pop that in with our water. Now, just like so. And let that sit in that, in that coconut water for a little bit there. Dice up our tuna. I'm just going to dice up that tuna, trying to avoid the sinewy parts. Um, just a little bit bigger than the veg, just to slow down the, the cooking process. Um, we're just going to pop that straight in with our veg there. Like I said, this is a really easy, quick dish. Most of mine are, but this is really up there. Like you could do this on a deserted island, really. The only thing you'd be missing was the beer, but As old Milky Joe said, a few rancid coconuts will always do the job. So we've got our diced tuna in there with our vegetable. Um, just a bit of salt. Like I said earlier, you can actually season this dish with seawater. So, but for today's purposes, we're just gonna go with the salt. Okay, so we're gonna just pop our little cloth along the top there. Pour in our coconut water. we're going to do is there is then squeeze out all that delicious coconut milk a little bit of muscle but it's worth it you can use cheesecloth or a tea towel you don't have to use a chucks cloth just like so and then cut some nice fresh lime So, a little bit of white pepper and then away we go. And then we just mix it all through. And you can leave this to cure um, for 10, 15 or so. Um, but myself personally, I just love to eat this straight the way it is. It's a gorgeous fish, gorgeous dish. Doesn't need much cooking. Like I said, this is sashimi grade yellow fish tuna. Um, and once we've got it all mixed in there, we'll have a little taste check. 
absolutely magnificent. And all we do is grab our little coconut there. Nice little handful of the mix. Just like so. Sit him on there. Nice little lime wedge. A little bit of shallot in the top. And there we go. Poisson Cru Tahitian Delicacy. Red tuna, coconut and lime.